My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blocked out and I woke on the surface of a weird planet with so many parts lo lost. The skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no! Better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. And with that voice permanently burned into your skull for Olimar for all time, hey guys, Ryu Karat here, and welcome to Let's Play Pikmin for the Nintendo Wii. Or Nintendo GameCube, but I don't own the GameCube version. And yes, this voice is integral to the entirety of the LP. Just saying. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. No, it doesn't, Olimar. What the? I shall call this an onion, too. All right, so basically the onion just shot out a seed. Gross. But we, when it, oh, okay. But when the seed finally grows, you can pluck it, or you can get a cut seed. The seed that that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Oh, wait, it's green. I must approach it and press A. Please note, no no jokes regarding this character will be made in this LP, because it's too obvious. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned it out to be a living creature, not a plant! Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall grab it with A, and th then throw it in the direction I point. And I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to... Oh, shit, I forgot the yellow button voice. The yellow text, whatever. C. Pressing down on the D-pad while pointing as well. The following controls appear to allow me to have several viewpoints. And I'm not reading that. I must survive! I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings! So yes, as Olimar was just saying, uh, basically you can throw a Pikmin with A and call it back with B, and you can uh, have it stand there and do nothing with C. Anyways, so Pikmin is a real-time strategy game. Uh, one of the few in existence for consoles, I believe, because real-time strategy is mostly a PC genre. But basically, what we got there was a pellet, which the onions will absorb. Astonishing! The onion has sown more seeds! The small red pellets the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more! 
And by study strange life for more, Olimar means throw it at stuff. So let's throw it at stuff. Anyways, as I was saying, it's not very common for, uh... Oh, let's see here. What's the term I'm looking for? A real-time strategy game to be on a console because it's mostly a PC genre. However, personally, I think Nintendo did it really well on a console. At least on the Wii, I, I didn't like the GameCube controls. Like, I may not own the GameCube Pikmin 1, but I do own the second game. Uh, anyways... So basically what we need to do is collect the pellets in order to, uh, sprout more Pikmin. And something I want to note, actually, is that, uh... Is that I'm actually gonna try having different recording habits with this LP. I, I don't want to go into too much detail in case I don't like what I'm... Uh, the habits I want to try, but SPINNING CAMERA! SPINNING CAMERA! Anyways, uh... What was I saying? Let's see here. I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, I wanted to... Uh, change my recording habits because, um, well, I'm not sure if I want to give reasons right now. I don't know. Maybe I'll mention it in a later episode, uh, when I see how it's working out. I, I mean, I'm not in trouble or anything, uh, it's just that I kind of want to try something different. Well, actually, you know what? Why am I being so secretive about this? It's because, uh... It's because recently I started doing a series where I just attend Josh Jepsen's and Attacking Toucan's uh, Community Verses, and something I noticed is that from the ones I've done thus far... Um... Wow. The Pitmen! are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has become to, has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick up sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin. Release to throw. Press B to call them. C to dismiss, press down on the D-pad, and point to command and control the group. Use whatever voice I use for Z, and up, and left and right on the D-pad to control perspective. I shall record this in my computer and access it with plus. Um, and basically, uh... From what I've done in Community Versus thus far, um, I personally think that the videos I've done for that thus far have actually been somewhat uh, significantly better in commentary than uh, most of my regular Let's Plays, simply because of the fact that... Um, well, basically, my normal recording habits is I generally record, like, uh, ten episodes or something. Basically, I record over several hours at once. And, um... And something I generally notice is that in my... I'm generally a lot more energetic in my earlier episodes than I am in the later episodes of the LPs. Uh, so... I'm... And, uh, that's not a problem in the Community Versus videos. So, I want to try doing try just recording one episode every recording session uh, for the LP. Because let's face it, I want to have more stories about how um, attacking Toucans and Josh Jepsen are robots built by Nin... Josh Jepsen's a robot clam! Oh my god, that is awesome! Holy crap, that is the best discovery I have made in my entire life. Josh Jepsen is secretly a robotic clam. It is now factual. Leave it alone, Olimar. Amazing! There's no mistaking it! My ship's engine rests before my very eyes! By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft! Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? Gee, 
How have you gotten pellets back to the onions, Olimar? I don't know. Maybe you should... Maybe you should tr channel your inner Chuck Norris and pick it up and carry it to the ship. I believe in you, Olimar. Therefore, you can do it. Okay, I seem to be missing Pikmin because I saw there was only like... Uh, oh, great. Missing Pikmin on the... When many Pikmin seeds sprout, at once I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with bright color. At other times, they revert to paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these different this is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. Yeah, thanks for the information, Olimar. Now just pluck! Pluck! Pluck like you've never plucked before! Anyways, like uh, most LPs of Pikmin that I have seen thus far in my life, uh, this one will be doing videos by, da by days as opposed to just uh, time. So basically, each individual video of this LP is going to cover a different day in Pikmin. Basically, in Pikmin, you have a time limit of 30 days, and you have to get all the ship parts back uh, in that time. Let's see, is there anything else I want to cover regarding the day system? Um, yes, each day is 13 minutes in length, and there are 30 ship parts to get. So basically, theoretically, if you wanted to, you could just get one ship part a day and be fine. But anyways, with that said, we're about done with this episode. Because the first day will automatically end once you obtain the engine. And because you got the engine, the back wall of Olimar's ship is suddenly less Sucky! Oh, glorious! With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step towards a step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. Alright, and basically at the end of the day, you will uh, get to see this cutscene of Olimar taking the Pikmin back to their onions, and then he gets back in his ship. Um, here's the thing. if uh, One of the ways that Pikmin can die is if they're not in your battalion or in the onions uh, when you take off, which, uh, which will leave them to fend for themselves against the nocturnal creatures of the planet. Um, so, and let's face it, Pikmin can't defend themselves, they're dumb. Uh, so, basically the Pikmin will die if you leave them on the planet overnight. Which is the worst way for them to die, because then they died for nothing. Day, one day since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with, with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface? Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow! The dolphin is missing 29 parts! If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hakate. An analysis shows life support systems will function for only 20... 29 more days! How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys for my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. Alright, and at the end of each day, it'll tell you how many Pikmin you've sprouted, how many you lost in battle, um, and how many you left, it, left behind, along with the number of ship parts and the number of Pikmin you currently have. Alright, so... With that said, thank you so much for watching the first episode of Let's Play Pikmin. In the next part, we will travel to the Forest of Hope 
and hopefully get some ship parts. See you then! Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more, click any of the buttons to be taken to the next episode, the playlist, three of my other LPs, or to follow me on Twitter or Facebook.